You know, I intended this as a one minute Monday, but there's no way I can cover it in a minute. Stimulus control. It is the key to everything. I'm gonna explain why. Let's start with a technical definition. A situation in which the frequency, latency, duration, or amplitude of a behavior is altered by the presence or absence of an antecedent stimulus. All right, nerd aside, what does this mean? Listen, behavior is everything that you do. Thinking, heartbeats, running, reading, speaking, all of these things from our perspective as behavior scientists is called behavior. When some sort of cue in your environment, something is affecting your behavior in a measurable way, then that is when we would say stimulus control has occurred. Why does this matter? I would go so far as to say that everything that we experience, struggle with, celebrate, etc., the human experience comes down to stimulus control. For example, it may be lacking. We engage in the right behavior, but at the wrong time. It may be cued by the wrong stimulus. In fact, many reading issues are developed this way with children trying to guess the right sounds and the cue not being how to phonetically read and the stimuli associated with the words. But often it's the subtleties of their teacher or their parents' facial expressions, things like this that start to control guessing responses for real. And this is devastating. Or a certain stimuli could be cued interfering with your life. Think of things like PTSD, anxiety disorders. These are real issues rooted in stimulus control. So the question becomes, what do you do about these sort of issues if you realize that there's one in your life that's affecting you? There's a lot of tips and tricks out there, but I'm not gonna offer those, and there's a reason behind this. Well, this concept may seem simple, the world of psychology, professionals that are trained to help requires at least a master's degree, and oftentimes a doctorate level degree to be able to assist with these issues. In fact, it's usually, in most states, required legally that certain degrees are held to be able to help with these issues. I've done my best to link some resources down below if you happen to find this video and you're struggling with something. But I wanna leave you with one other thought, and that is this concept of stimulus control is actually really humbling, humanizing, uh, dignifying. And this is because a behavioral mental health issue as a result of stimulus control isn't something that's now within you, inside of you. It's not something that's wrong with you as a person, but it's now actually this symbiotic mutual interaction between you and the environment. It's taking the source of control of an inner and putting it outside. And it's now something tangible, something you work with, something that's not quite as personal too. That is, you aren't inherently bad. None of us are. Your behavior is a synthesis of who you are, but also the interaction of the world around you. To learn more about this way of thinking, there's links down below to where you can learn freely or paid to go learn more about this. And please like, share, subscribe. Over 70% of you do not do this. In fact, doing those sort of things really helps this channel. It helps it grow, helps it reach more people. So if you can just hit the like button, hit the share button, tag somebody, it would do a world of a difference. And if you really like it, Patreon is the top link down below. It's how you pay to support, gain access to more content, help influence this channel. And it helps me do more, especially in this time with very little creative work being funded. Thanks to those that support, and I will see you in the next one. That's your Daily BA. I know we're acting stupid Maybe just a little bit foolish